Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Let's Play Oblivion, where we're in Bruma with Arthur. It's very cold. Here's Merlin. And we're outside our Nora's house because we have learned through the rumor mill that uh, her husband or boyfriend or something uh, got locked up in the dungeons after nicking all of their gold and then stashing it somewhere. And yeah. Sounds interesting. Like, she probably wants it back, right? And maybe we can help with that. For a cut of the gold, perhaps. That's what Arthur's thinking, anyway. So, that's why we're here. Also, I need to level up at some point. I've, I've, I've not forgotten about that at the bottom. There, the little level up logo. logo. Um, so, yeah. Let's get inside. It's, it's cold out here. All right. Hello? The fuck? Okay, she's a mage. Uh, hello. Can't you see that I'm upset? You, yeah, that's one form of being upset, I suppose. Um, hi, I'm I'm here about Jorunda. Our affairs are none of your business. I don't know who you are, and you think I'm going to talk to you about my ex-lover? Fair, I suppose. Go ahead. Right, let's see. Okay, boasting and jokes. Cool. I wish I could say that. What nonsense. Oh, bollocks. Oh, please. <laughs> what nonsense. I... You can't scare me. Uh. Oh, that's great. That's really too much. Eh. Don't. That's just talk. Suck at this already. I don't try to manipulate. I. Oh, please. That's just talk. That's. Really? No. Don't waste your flattery oh, on me. Oh, God. Uh, it's only been like a week since I last played. I'm already feeling rusty. Uh. Really? You're wasting your breath. Don't waste your flattery on me. Oh, please. What That's nonsense. Better. Oh, please. I what remarkable. Maybe that'll do. I suppose I can trust you with this information. After all, if you can help me recover my stolen gold, you may find yourself earning some of it. That's what I wanted to hear. So about the stolen gold, then. I know what you've heard, all about Jorunda and his run-in with the town guard. Well, let's just say it isn't exactly all true. Mm -hmm. I may have let a detail or two leak out to entice someone such as you to assist me. Until you agree to my scheme, I don't want to say more. All I can promise is that you'll be making a lot of money. Are you in or are you out? Okay, keep talking. I'm in. Smart answer. Here's the deal. Jorunda and I have had a rocky relationship at best. Against my will, I've been dragged all over Cyrodiil helping him commit petty crimes. I wouldn't say we're thieves. I mean, we've stolen things, sure. But we've never stolen that much at one time. Just enough to keep us going. That is until last year. Jorunda started to take risks and began robbing more dangerous targets. Not just lone merchants, mind you. I'm talking about the bigger scores, like estates and tax shipments. I begged him to stop, as I knew that his capers would one day lead to violence. He just threatened to hurt me if I got in his way. I think the gold changed him, I really do. He wasn't the man I met seven years ago. The few times I tried to say something, it strike me or push me away. I began to become frightened of him. All right, fine. But you're sitting here casting lightning bolts. You don't seem like the sort of woman who lets a dude push her around. I'm going to be honest. But okay, whatever. We'll humor you for now. Um, what does this have to do with me? Our last score was a tax shipment being delivered to the Imperial City. We robbed it. And in the midst of the chaos, Jorunda killed a guard. I was mortified. We snatched up the gold and holed up in the mountains. He said if I breathed a word of the murder to anyone, he'd kill me. 
I was terrified of him at this point. Two days later, the Bruma City Guard traced us to our makeshift campsite. I was off gathering food, but Jorunda was captured. Served him right. When I went back to the site later, the gold was gone. He'd moved it! What I need you to do is go to the Bruma Castle dungeons and speak to him for me. Convince him to tell you where the gold is and then we split it. Okay. He's not likely to just come out and tell you, so get creative. All right. I don't know what about. I don't know about you, Merlin, but I don't think she's telling us the whole truth, personally. But there's probably money in this either way. Either through her, or if we can just get Jorunda to tell us where the gold is, we can just take it for ourselves. Also, <sighs> dog. There you go. I'm trying to talk to you here. Um, so, off to the castle dungeons then. It's not something I uh, look forward to usually. Um, gives us an excuse to look around the castle though, eh? Because we've not been there yet. Um, yeah, Gerald View in here. We've already explored most of this, haven't we? Up here we have not been though. I don't think so. Yeah, no, Gem in the North. Yeah, this is where we came in earlier, actually. And there's that snooty woman with a necklace. Lots of snooty women with necklaces in this town, as it turns out. Um, then we got that. There's a stable here. Huh. <laughs> cool. And really big. That, now, that's a really big tower. Holy shit, look at that. Good grief. We go in there. Well, it's a warehouse, apparently. Okay. That's good to know. I mean, trading company warehouses very rarely seem to have anything good in them. But then again, this one's locked very hard, so you never know. Um, hello. Hello. What's this place? Imperial Trading Company. Ooh. Really? Shut up, bears. Do we reckon that is Typoceptin or something? Probably. What have we got here then? Drinking on the job, eh? <laughs> House under construction. And that's the Legion bit there. Okay. Behaving very strangely today, dog. Come on. This is the castle. Let's hear it. Hi. I can't talk to you because otherwise you'll try and throw me in jail magically immediately. Because uh, you psychically know who I am. Um, right. Actually, on that note, I, now that you guys have caught up a little bit to these videos, there's a few comments I want to address. I mean, one, one is that there's this one... I know there's at least one guy in the comments who's getting increasingly irate that Arthur hasn't been caught yet, which I find absolutely hilarious, but nevertheless. If it's any consolation, and to also to all the guys who are like, you should have taken all the gold for the bank, you should have just taken half. Think of it this way. Arthur's not really just an independent thief. Yeah? He's, he's with the Thieves Guild now. He works for the Thieves Guild. So think of it this way. He did take all the money from the bank, but half of it was earmarked for the Thieves Guild. And in return, the Thieves Guild is, in, you know, it's in their best interest to, to, to try and preserve Arthur's identity and stuff like that. You know, sure, you know, he's caused a lot of fuss by robbing the vaults and, and the bank and everything like that. But on the flip side, you've got Armand and all his contacts doing their absolute level best to frustrate the authorities at every turn when it comes to trying to track down who did it. Right? Makes sense, I think. I think so... When you look at it from that perspective, I don't think it's that unreasonable that the authorities in this game are having such a difficult job trying to trying to figure out who did it. Because frankly, not to mention I was fucking half invisible and wearing a goddamn cowl the entire time, but hey. Um, you know. Um, you know, male, fair-skinned Breton, 
it's you know it's not much to go on is it really when it comes to identifying people like a couple of dudes saw me half invisible with a cowl on very briefly in the midst of fighting them kind of you know uh, whatever you know plus on top of that you've got the thieves guild and the gray fox actively working against the, the guards and stuff being able to track arthur down you know I, I i'm i'm willing to suspend my disbelief enough to 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 reconcile that as being a reason why we're not in jail right now so you know i'm sure it will not stop people complaining and whining but hey i just thought i'd mention it And yeah, as far as the gold is concerned, you can essentially pretend, if you like, that I did take all of it and half of it's earmarked for the Thieves' Guild. In fact, I gave the other half of it to Ongar when we went to speak to him earlier. And that reminds me of another thing, actually. I'm going to go do this now, because I've had people saying, Why don't you pay off your fines with Ongar? I don't think you can, guys. I think you can only do it with a Doyen. So, in this, in our case, I'm on Kristoff. There are others. We've not encountered them yet. Ongar's just a fence. He's not one of the guild doyens, so we can't pay off our fines and bounty with him. There's an option in the dialogue menu, yes. But all he'll probably do when I ask him is say, oh, you should go see a doyen. But just to be sure, I'm going to do it right now. Just to please the people in the comments. I'm really tired. Armand Kristoff and Skriva have special arrangements with the guards and judges throughout Cyrodiil. They can make all your outstanding warrants go away for only half the price of the fines. So there you go, folks. Shadow it's We always end up having a discussion like this in, in the Oblivion LPs for some reason, whether it's potions don't stack, Dave, when yes, they actually do, or... You don't need to be able to cast a spell to use it in an enchantment. Yes, you do. You can talk to the fence to get your fines gotten rid of. No, you can't. But anyway. It's like it's like I've people like people act like I've never played this game before or something. I don't know. Anyway, that's your rant for the day out of the way, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed that. Moving back to your regularly scheduled programming now. Let's go to the dungeons. Hail. Um I'm thinking, actually, as well of... Uh, this has been mentioned, I think, about me selling things to fences and buying it back and whatever. I'm thinking, actually, I'll, when, when it comes to a few things here, now I've had them long enough, I think I might actually just use the set ownership command on them, to be honest with you, like this elven shield. Because um, we've had that for freaking ages now. So, maybe my alchemy equipment, I don't know. So, I, I might do that with a few things. I might just use the set ownership command. Um... But anyway, that's the barracks. Oh, we might be able to get a dungeon through the barracks, but uh, whatever. Let's just take the opportunity to have a look around, shall we? So, that's your main entrance. I didn't see another entrance, unfortunately. Because this one's got guards right next to it. What is it? Um, secret pastures and stuff around, you never know. The Lord's Manor, that's there. Quite dark in these corners, actually, which suits me just fine. Castle Vault. <laughs> guess where? Guess guess which part of the castle I want to pay a visit. Um, oh, and this is the Countess. I suppose we better introduce ourselves, otherwise it's going to be a bit weird. Hello, uh, Milady, or Your Grace, or whatever. Welcome to Bruma Castle. What's brought you here today? Uh, I was off to speak to a prisoner in your dungeons, as a matter of fact. Um, Tell me about Bruma. Some see only the conflicts between northern and southern cultures, but I see the way they are stronger when woven together. Good for you. May the divine smile upon you. Cool. Um, I'm going to carry on just trying to find the dungeons. What do we have here? Hmm. Display cases with nice things in them. Very cool. Look out for these secret passages. You know there's got to be one in these castles somewhere. But what I want is a, is a nice sneaky entrance to the castle, really. Um, that's the dungeon. 
because I don't. If I want to rob this place and rob the vault, which is my ultimate goal before I leave Bruma, I want to rob the the castle vault. Which, judging by the merchants' vault in the Imperial City, might not have that good stuff in it to be honest with you. But I still want to give it a go because you know why not, right? It's the damn castle vault. It's, there, it's just there to be robbed. It's begging for it, man. Okay, well, there's nobody here. Hello? Hmm. Now, I happen to know that um, the vault mod for these castle vaults wasn't, it wasn't the case for the Imperial City vault, unfortunately. The Imperial City vault is like a really weird, bizarre case when it comes to a lot of things in this game like the, the imperial city vault was it was like ridiculously hard and i know for a fact from playing this game previously that um the castle vaults are nothing like the imperial city vault and one thing that makes them different is the fact that you can actually find disguises you can actually disguise yourself as a broom of guard and sneak into the you know vault and around the castle that way but you need a very specific curious to do it like any old guard curious won't do the job because it needs, it need, you need to find the special one with a, with with a script attached to it and stuff like that for it to work, basically. So we need to keep an eye out as we look around here for, uh, for something like that. Hello, it's all over, oh, law for break. Fuck's sake, dude! Right, you know what? Oh no, but he's gonna take all my stolen shit! Ah! God damn it! All right, let's just pretend we walked around and did all that looking around already. Um. I was going to talk to the jailer. I might... Oh, shit. I might have to talk to the jailer for him to let me down into the dungeons to actually talk to the dude, unfortunately. In which case, I'm going to have to go... Oh, God. I'm going to have to go dump all my stolen stuff in Ongar's house so I can come back here, pay the fine, and then talk to the guy. Or I can just set PC crime goal to zero or something like that, which I'm half tempted to do, honestly. How do you do? Um, can I just go down here? No. Okay, then. Time for some console magic, ladies and gentlemen, because I can't be bothered with this particular faff. Okay, right. Done. Job done. My bounty has been paid. Or 99 gold of it. I, If you're curious, I used the pay fine thief command, um, which basically what that does is it um, removes your bounty and takes away half the cost of the bounty as if you'd paid it to, like, Armand. Or Screever or, or whoever. Basically, it's it's you ba it's a console command that makes it so that I've just like paid half my bounties if I've been talking to Armand. So which, which I think is fair, I guess. That's the fairest way to get rid of it, honestly. Um, you know, that's just the way I'm going to do it because otherwise I can't talk to this guard. I can't get into the, into the dungeon without lock picking it and other bullshit like that. So uh, you know. Um, I could sneak in at night, maybe, to try and sneak in there and stuff like that, but I'd rather not. So, I'm going to do it this way. Honestly, if you have a problem with that, I don't want to hear about it. I don't care, and I don't want to hear about it. Um, you know, if I, if I had something like a 4,000 gold bounty, then sure, I'd probably treat it differently. I'd, like, sneak back into the Imperial City and, and pay it off with Armand Kristoff or something like that, but it, I don't. It was a 99 gold bounty, so I don't care. Um, you know, I, I don't need your scrutinization here, frankly, when it comes to this sort of stuff. And there's been a lot of it in the comments of late, which is why I'm saying this, basically. So, yeah, that's just the way I've chosen to do it. If you don't like it, go play Oblivion yourself and do it differently yourself. At the end of the day, this is my game I'm playing here the way I want to with my character. And if you don't like it, then I don't... Like I try, I'm, I'm kind of don't really care. Um, so yeah, and otherwise I'll just I don't I don't know. I'll take my ball and go home. <laughs> so that's the way I'm going to do it. And if there's any complaining, I'm just not going to listen to you. To be honest with you, I'm going to carry on playing the game the way I want to because that's the whole damn point, right? Anyway, rant over. Go ahead. What can I do for you? Uh, I want to see a prisoner. What a bother. Don't be too long about it. I got to stay with you, so there isn't any funny business. Mm-hmm. No 
touching the locks. All right, all right. Where is he then? Prisoners may not accept gifts. <laughs> no touching the locks. Where is he? There you are. I don't know who you are, nor do I care. All I know is that I want you to leave. Dude, stolen gold. I'm not talking to you about anything. You're an outsider. I bet you're trying to trick me into telling something and the guards put you up to it. That fetcher of a guard, Terelius, is always trying to be sneaky. Well, you can forget it. Tell him it isn't going to work. Uh huh. Do, 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 what? No, uh, there we go. Jorundov refused to speak to me. He said that he doesn't talk to outsiders. I think he's referring to the fact that I'm not a prisoner. Sounds like the only way to get him to talk is by getting arrested. <gasps> no. No, I don't want to be arrested, though. I just got rid of my bounty. <laughs> I forgot you have to do this with this quest. Ah, oh, crap. I, I thought I just had to, like, persuade him or whatever. No, you've got to get thrown in prison. <laughs> Maybe if I just... No, it won't work. Well, it could just grade out. Ah, oh, dude. Nice try. Don't get too close to the prisoners. Bollocks. Don't get too close. All right, so let's think about this. I don't want to get thrown in prison because then they'll know who I am and they'll recognize me and stuff, which will make it really hard for me to rob the castle eventually when I want to leave the city. <sighs> How much is this gold worth to Arthur? What would he actually do? Don't think of this in terms of a game, a player, a player playing the game. Think of it in terms of what Arthur would actually do. And Arthur doesn't want to be thrown in prison. I don't think he thinks it's worth it. I don't know. Maybe if it was some sort of petty crime. I don't know. I could just got drunk and punched someone and then got thrown in, in the jail here to cool off for like a, a day or something. That wouldn't be so bad. But still, they'd know who I am at that point. It'd be like, oh, right. Like just coming in here with my hood up and stuff like that. Trying to be as inconspicuous as possible and just talking to this guy here. It's not so bad, but actually getting thrown in prison and the guards on the base of there no 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 who I am, which is going to make life really difficult, so. Uh, I think he's at the very least. Yeah, I'm done. Can we go? I'm, I'm done. Can you stop following me? What seems to be Stop following me around. Now we're in the barracks, apparently. Okay. Hi, everyone. Oh, God. Now all the guards are seeing my face. No! <laughs> it's getting worse and worse. Oh, hello. Ah, uh, they, they... See, that's what I'm looking for. False Brumacurus right there. Glad I spotted that. That's a disguise, folks. Um. Right. Yeah. I think we're going to have to have a think about this one. I'm not sure how willing Arthur is to get locked up and thrown in jail. Just for the sake of... Probably not that much gold. I don't know. It sounded like it could be a lot of gold, but... Uh, it's probably not, though, is it? Uh. <laughs> that brings me back to my problem of, ah, oh, I've got all this stolen shit on me that I don't want to... Ah, uh, yeah. <sighs> I might have to leave this one. I might have to leave this one because I just cause I don't think Arthur would do it. He'd be like, wait, wait, this guy's not going to talk to me unless I'm thrown in jail as well. Forget it then. I'm not getting thrown in jail. Not again. Last time I got, <laughs> it's like last time I got thrown in jail. Like, like the emperor himself busted me out i don't think that's going to happen again frankly I don't, the likelihood of that happening is is very 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 slim indeed so what is it it's not happening not unless he changes his mind later on but i don't think he's going to for now also what's the deal with this 
What's this about here? Um, whatever. Um. Right, so anyway. What's the time? 6 p.m. Eh. Doesn't feel like 6 p.m. Feels like earlier than that, to be honest, but hey. Um. Well, what else do we want to do? I mean, I could... I don't, there really doesn't seem to be any other way into the castle, does there, unfortunately, except for the, the main entrance. Which is kind of a pain. I'm really wondering how on earth I'm going to rob this place. How can I do it? I mean, oh, and there might be a way in that way, actually. Look, 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 these walls up here. Let's go check that out. We can get up there. Hmm. No. no door there. Um. It's got to be another way into this castle, except for the main gate, right? What the? Hmm. Okay. Oh, here we go. Ugh! I don't see anything. I mean, one way to get into the castle would be to get arrested. Oh, game. You bastard. I was really hoping I could get up, out there onto that wall. Um, well, that's not, I mean, I could just, like, TCL my way up there, but there's no point. Because even if I did, there wouldn't be a door up there into the castle either. So, um, damn it. See, because now I'm thinking... Well, there is a way into the castle, and that is to get locked up and thrown in jail. Then I'm already inside the castle, and then come nightfall, I break out of that. Well, I could speak to Jorunda while I'm there, but also I can break out. I can get to the evidence chest, get my stuff back, my stolen stuff back. I hope. I hope. Um, I have no idea if it'll work or whether or not the game will glitch out and just delete all my shit. You know, that's the, that's the thing I'm worried about, really. Um, but I could sneak out of the jail, you know, break out with my one lockpick or whatever I get when I go in there. Um, but then don't you have to give a lockpick to him? Uh, um, but assuming I can break out while I'm there, I can speak to Jurunda, get the location of the gold, blah, blah, blah. Then break out, get my stuff from the evidence chest, go rob the castle, leave in one night. Maybe. Because I'm probably going to have to come back into the city to speak to Arnora again and stuff, aren't I? So that would be a bit weird. I don't know how I'd make that work, unless I had a very clever disguise. But, um, don't really. <laughs> so, um, uh, oh, I don't want to think about this one. I don't want to think about this one at all. I'm going back to the inn. That's what I'm doing. <sighs> Have a think and a ponder. What I also want to do is go scout around outside the walls and stuff, in case there's like other exits and entrances from the city. Um, as well. There might be, there might not be, but we'll see. There's a bunch of buildings and stuff outside the walls too, so I kind of want to check those out. Evening, can I help you? Go on. There's a most... Yep. Ex I'm through talking to you. Noisy in here this evening. May the wind be on your back. Alright, let's go level up. Let's go rest for the rest of the evening and level up. And then tomorrow morning, come on, tomorrow morning, I think we'll go check around outside the city a little bit. Not too far, I don't want to go wandering off into the woods too much, but, you know, just have a look around. So, yeah, 12 hours.
Right, uh, let's see. Well, I don't I don't really have a use for intelligence, to be honest. Really. I mean, it gives me more magic, but fuck it, I don't care. Um, I rarely use magic anyway. Occasionally cast light, n night eye, and that's about it, really. So, well, I do want that agility. I do want that speed, and I'll take an extra point of strength, because more carrying capacity, why not? Um... I woke today with a new sense of purpose. I am no longer afraid of failure. Failure is just an opportunity to learn something new. Hooray! Cool. Okay, so... Let's go upstairs. Get some breakfast. Go on! A little food and drink will do you some good. Uh, let's see, what do you got? Bread. Can make that into a detect life potion, but this time I'll just eat it, I think. Um... And uh, a ham sandwich, I guess. That's uh -huh. a good deal. Come back and I'd say ham and eggs if he had any eggs, but he doesn't. So let's have a cup of tea. Warm that up on the fire in the kitchen for me. I would imagine. Um, cool. Right. So, dog, let's just go range beyond the walls for a little bit. While I continue to think about what I'm doing really here. It's kind of dark, isn't it, today? Hmm. Unpleasant weather. Unpleasant indeed. What the hell are you? I'm Olga. I'm a bard and a speechcraft trainer. Really? Hanmund is my living partner. No offense, but I don't want to hear about any Mara Mother Mild and Chapel family business. Hanmund and I live together in the old Nord way. Good enough for my fa and ma, and good enough for me. Yeah, I'm sure, whatever. I ain't no prude. Goodbye. You'd think all the Dibella guys would be fine with that anyway, you know, right? But whatever. Um, so there's two gates, isn't there? Because there's this one, there's the one down at the front, near the stables, which we've not actually been around through yet, but hey. Um, but I want to see if there's any others. Probably won't be, to be honest with you. This place is a freaking fortress. That's a minotaur over there, fighting something or someone. Let's stay away from that. You're just asking for it. I'm really confused by the quick saving sometimes in this game. Sometimes it does it instantly, and sometimes it takes like an actual age. I need some more deer I can shoot. While we're out here. Possibly. Ah, oh, no, it's the stables. Okay. Um, just one second. There we go. Oh, hang on. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Be, back. Be right back. Okay, I, um, yeah, I went to put my glasses on and then discovered that they were like, what the fuck's going on down there? Um, I discovered that they were like covered in like dirt and stuff. So I had to go clean my glasses and then come back because my eyes are getting a little bit strained here. Is that an imp? It's an imp. It's like right outside the city gates. What the heck? Uh, well, that clearly missed. There we go. M's dead. Oh, hello. You little... God, they're quick, aren't they? Should I really be using whistling arrows for... hunting... Well, I don't have any others, so uh, the others are all magic arrows, which are even more of a waste, so. Alright, well. You didn't fancy killing that imp, no? Well, there's the stables, anyway. Wild eye stables. These are your horses, then, huh? You're not a particularly great looking horse. No offense or anything, but. 
You know, I mean, I know for a fact that the, the paint horses in this game are like the slowest horse in the game. Basically, just all around, pretty much the most rubbish horse in the game. I, th I think they've got the least health, they're the slowest. And, and having a slow horse is particularly annoying in this game because... Like the way I've got it set up, because when I get saddlebags on the horse, the more put... Basically, the way it works is you put saddlebags on the horse and you can store items, like, in the saddlebags. The problem is, the more stuff you put in the saddlebags, the more encumbered the horse gets, and it gets even slower. So really, you want a faster horse to start off with, so they, then I can put some saddlebags on it, and then put, start putting my loot and stuff on the horse. And it'll slow down a bit, but it won't be, like, too bad. But if I start off with a paint horse with saddlebags full of loot, this thing, I'll, I'll literally be running faster than the horse is moving. So... As far as I'm concerned, I'm looking at this horse and I'm seeing like it's you know it's 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 kind of kind of old. It's like an old nag. It's seen better days, you know. It's in probably possibly poor health, you know. I'm thinking, nah, I'm not buying that. <laughs> so that's the reason why we're not buying a horse from Bremer. When we get to Shaden, on the other hand, probably going to buy a horse there. Spoilers and all, but. They got some good horses at Shaden Hall. So this is what I mean. I press the quick save button now and it takes an absolute age. Whereas before it did it instantly. We've kind of been around here already, haven't we? Because this is the way we came up here. Yeah, I mean, look at this. <laughs> There's no way in. There's no way in. I don't know why I bothered to come out here and check, frankly. It'd be really cool if, like, you could get in through the mine somehow. Like, the coal mine nearby. But, I don't think so. Like, if the mine somehow connected to the spa. You know. Just through, like, a forgotten abandoned tunnel or something like that. I don't know. It'd be kind of cool. But alas! I don't think that's the case. Br Wait a minute. Broom of Caverns? You're joking, right? Ha! Okay, fantastic. Dog? Yeah. Right. Stay. I'll come call you if I need you. Okay, so what do we have here? Right, I don't need to. I don't need to like sn slow sneak anymore, do I? Because I've got that perk now. Hooray! Well, somebody comes down here at least because there's a lantern lit. So, also, I've run out of quick quick slots haven't I damn it actually I can use this instead of the paralysis dagger there you go my blackjack equipped so I can knock some people unconscious if I need to down here can I knock a rat unconscious out of curiosity no but I can outright kill it <laughs> still does three damage the blackjack so that's, that might actually be a problem, to be fair. Oh, oh, I, because because I do I do blunt like blunt skill is my main melee weapon skill, which means that the blackjack is still actually going to do quite a fair, fair bit of damage. <laughs> so if I meet someone particularly weak and I get a sneak attack on them, I might still kill them. But it, it, I mean, I do what like seven or eight times damage. So three, six, nine, twelve. I'm still gonna, yeah, I'm still gonna do a fair amount of damage with it, even if I, you know, just do a sneak attack with the blackjack. Uh-oh. I think they probably should have set the damage to zero in the, uh, in the construction set or something, because otherwise that's a problem. Or maybe they just assumed that you'd be using, a, you'd be a blade-wielding character or something, I don't know. I have to open up the plugin in, in the construction set and do something about that myself, because... If I keep, if I try to sneak up behind a bandit, knock him unconscious, and I end up killing him with the blackjack, I mean, it really defeats the point of having the blackjack, right? Well, there's someone down here. Someone or something, anyway. 
How many detect life potions have I got? Oh, I've got like a bajillion. So let's just use some. What's the range on that? 61 feet. Yeah, you'd think I'd be able to see them if they were here. Okay. Okay. So where does this lead? Gerald's basement. Thick dawn commentaries. Looks big and boring. Um, okay. Probably I could sleep in that bed. Uh -huh. Ugh, come on. There we go. Nobody's home. They're not, okay. Cool. Well, I'm not going to nick anything right now, but... Okay, so that's a way in into and out of the city. It goes through someone's house, which is a bit, like, disconcerting and all, but... Still. It's better than nothing. There's apparently something around here because my, my sneak skill was increasing when I was moving along, but I don't see anyone. Who is this girl and why does she have a basement that leads to a tunnel out of the city? Arthur does not honestly know. But uh, nevertheless, it's lucky I found this place. Oh, that, it's you. Wait a minute. Oh, no, no, there's the one I killed. Speaking of which. Taking your rat meat, because, uh... Trag it sapped, eh? Not target, but trag it. Well, there you go. I knocked this rat unconscious, because I wasn't sneak attacking. <laughs> hey, pickpocket the rat? No. <laughs> that's, a, that's a rat that's going to have a headache, apparently, when it wakes up. Alright, well, anyway. Yes, I mean I'm not going to be I'm not going to be using the blackjack on people when I'm not sneaking though, so that's not really a solution to the problem. If I want to knock someone con someone unconscious, I'm going to be sneaking when I do it. So, yeah, to think about that. Come on, Merlin. Still, there you go. There's our way into and out of the city if we need it. So I have to go through the main gate past the guards. It's something at least, you know. Right, there's the old coal mine. And then there's the dead bandit. And we're coming back around to where we were when we came in, so. However. I'm sure. That when I came through here. The first time I saw a building. Off in the trees somewhere. What? What? Oh no, it's the Minotaur. Uh... Right, just go, go into sneak mode. Oh, stupid dog. Maybe I can sneak up and knock the monitor unconscious. That would be a laugh. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, crap. Dog, this is not going to work if you keep waking up the Minotaur by trying to bite him. Idiot dog. Where's my poison at? You've got so much freaking health. This is unbelievable.
Will you please not kill my dog? And dog, will you please not try and attack minotaurs when you see them? Holy crap. Merlin, you are a dumbass. Mithril Warhammer. It wears an absolute ton, but it's pretty valuable too, actually. A Frost Titan, no less. Good God. I'm glad it was so... Luckily for me, it was so intent on murdering you into a bloody pulp, Merlin, that it was completely indifferent to me shooting it with poison arrows. Huh. Well, there you go. I just killed a Frost Titan. <laughs> that doesn't happen every day. Dog, you are just... Could have knocked the Frost Titan unconscious and then just been on our merry way, but no. I knocked a Frost Titan unconscious, dog. That's pretty impressive. Anyway. Where's this, where's this building I was seeing? Oh, I saw a building around here somewhere. I thought it was off in the trees here somewhere, but maybe I'm imagining it completely. Oh, no, 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 there's something over here. Oh, here we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was not imagining it. Cool. Good to know I'm not going mad. I'm also really digging this King of Dragon Pass music right now. I don't want to go inside the building and cancel it. Oh, but of course the wildlife had other ideas, didn't it? Fucking imp. Is it running away now? I guess it is. Well, whatever then. Piss off, imp. <laughs> oh, the game was nice enough to play the music again. That's, that's very good of it, actually. Thank you, game. Sometimes you throw me a bone every now and again, and I appreciate it. <laughs> you just watch. It's going to crash in 30 seconds. So what the devil's this place, then? But anyway, yes, I was enjoying it because it really fits the whole kind of northern snowy broomer aesthetic. What's all this? Great big gorge here. I'll go. I'll go check out the building in a minute. But oh wow! Holy crap! What have I found? Dog, stay. And I mean actually stay, not just wander around. What is this place? I found like I've... It's like I've found the entrance to a lost city. This is awesome. I mean, you know, I'm, in, I'm impressed, let alone Arthur, who does not spend a lot of time outside of cities, and so is probably rarely, if ever, has seen anything like this in his life. Is there a way in, or is it just... No. If there was a way in, it's been... Bricked up centuries ago. Bloody cool, though. Oh, wait, no, hello. hello. Ancient ruined broom of barracks. Is there another trapdoor here that I missed as well? No. Well. I can't resist. Curi curiosity is getting the better of us. But first, I'm going to go back up here and uh talk to whoever owns this place and see if they know anything about this ancient freaking fortress in of in of, of the forgotten valley type thing that's on their doorstep apparently suspiciously close to their doorstep i might say <laughs> 